Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com. Today we're going to learn how to make a diagonal line effect on our web pages. In order to do this, you're going to need Dreamweaver, you're going to need Photoshop, and you're going to need a site to find with a default images folder. If you have all that, let's get started. So let's open up Dreamweaver. I'm not going to do much in Dreamweaver today. And let's create a new HTML. And let's call this file save as let's just call it diagonal save and make sure you're saving it in that um, place where your site is defined and let's change the page properties of this let's change it the background color and let's go to like um let's make it 009 and click OK so now what we're going to do is we're going to insert diagonal lines all across this web page in order to do this let's go to Photoshop let's go file new let's make it a width of 10 a height of 10 a resolution of 72 and transparent background components. Once you have this, click OK. F it to full screen. Come to your zoom. Make sure it's blue before you start typing and type in 3000. So now we can kind of see it. Let's make a background color for this. So let's click our square tool right here and let's get our black to white highlighted right here. Make sure your uh, top color is black and let's just highlight over this so that we can kind of see it. It's one solid color. Um, let's create a new layer by clicking down here and click new layer. Let's make sure we are on layer 2 and let's click our brush tool and hold and go to our pencil tool and then let's change this to one pixel. So highlight that and click 1px and click enter. Make sure your pencil tool is one pixel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click this black color and we're going to change it to whatever we want our diagonal lines to be. So you can go around and play with this, find whatever, whatever color you want your diagonal lines to be. I want mine to be 001255. Once you have that, click OK. And now we're going to make our diagonal lines. So in order to do this, we're just going to click all the way across. So we're going to find the bottom square, click, 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 click. click click. If you did not go from corner to corner, you messed something up. So now we're going to delete this layer one. So we're going to click it and drag it down to the trash clan and delete it. We just had it there just to make it a little easier to do our clicks. And now we're going to go file, save as, and we're going to save it in our default images folder. So find your default images folder. and I'm going to call it diagonal. And I'm going to make it a P Photoshop and let's click OK. And now we're going to go file, save as, and let's make it a PNG file and make sure it is interlaced, ladies and gentlemen. That's very important. And click OK. Now let's go back to Dreamweaver. Let's go to Page Properties, Background Image, Find Diagonal.png, click Choose, and make sure it repeats, and click OK. And now you have diagonal lines on your web page. Let's preview this in a browser save those changes and now you have those cool diagonal lines now let's say if you did all this and you decide I don't like the color of that those diagonal lines how am I going to change that well it's not that difficult all you have to do is you come back into Photoshop and you double click where you have your diagonal lines right here double click that and you're going to come to your layer style settings go to color overlay click the check mark in there then click color overlay then click this red, it always starts out as red, and then you can find another color that you might like better. So let's find like a nice, I don't know, like a gray. That's cool. I'm going to use C1BFBF. So click OK, click OK, and now you have that gray color. So let's go File, Save As, and call it that same diagonal. Let's change it to a PNG, and click Save, Replace, and make sure it's interlaced, come back to Photoshop and all of a sudden it's gray now. A little hard on the eyes but this gives you the whole idea. Now if you wanted to make those diagonal lines a little more spaced out or maybe even a little bit closer all you would do is you would start out with a smaller file size. So say if you wanted them closer together maybe you would do 5 pixels by 5 pixels. If you wanted them further apart maybe you would do about 25 pixels by 25 pixels. So this has been a really easy tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and I'll have have a good day.